This video is brought to you by Skillshare. More on them at the end of the video. Welcome to the 10 item capsule wardrobe talk through for spring summer 2021. Jennifer here and welcome back to The Daily Connoisseur. I'm so happy that you are here to join me for the spring summer talk through for my 10 item capsule wardrobe. I hope you enjoyed the video from last week. If you haven't already seen it, I will link it in the I cards up above. But in this video, I'm going to go through each of the pieces and talk uh, through them with you, tell you why I selected them and the story behind them all. And I think that this really helps because it helps you get more intentional with your wardrobe. If you start to get more analytical and think about your wardrobe like this in great detail, you become more discerning about what you bring into it. So let's just jump right in. We are going to start off with the outfit that I am wearing today, and it's the first piece that we see in the 10 item capsule wardrobe. This is a dress from Sky. It is called the Charlotte dress. It's new for spring. It's one of two Sky dresses that I have in my core items this year. So what you'll see from the garments here in the 10 item capsule wardrobe is that there's a nice mix between things that I have found myself and purchased myself and items that have been sent to me from my relationship with various brands and I do do both. I think that there is a place for both on this blog because I am able to discover different brands and try out different styles that I wouldn't normally have access to if I wasn't documenting my journey here. So Sky is a company that I have a great relationship with and I have been wearing their clothes for a few seasons now. It's an elevated minimalist brand. I love their clothing. It's very ladylike yet fashion forward. So what I like about the Charlotte dress is first of all, the color. I love the color yellow. Now, funny enough, I did have my colors done and this is apparently not a color I'm supposed to wear, but this is why I'm so skeptical about having my colors done because I love this color. I don't care what any chart tells me. I think it's fantastic. It's just a beautiful, cheerful daffodil uh, lemony color. And I love the retro vibe that I get from this dress. I think the sleeves are absolutely unique. These are different ties on the sleeves that you tie and knot yourself. So you can give the sleeves a bunch of different looks as well. So in this first look, I'm wearing it with the Sky Ismay earrings as well as the Sky um, Inez enamel bracelet. Both of those jewelry pieces are really beautiful. They're 18 karat gold dipped and they have that blue enamel on them and the earrings look like little hot air balloons to me. I love those earrings. I think this dress with a nice earring with a pop of color is great. I also like to wear this dress with the Teddy Blake bag, that, um, that gray croco bag. It looks really good. I'll try to show you that in an upcoming video. The necklace that I'm wearing is by Jackie Mac Designs and uh, I love this beautiful artisanal small business 14 karat gold uh, keeps my heart necklace. And I like a delicate necklace that you can barely see. This is what I've discovered about myself. <laughs> Whenever I wear big, bold, chunky necklaces, I don't feel that comfortable. So I'm not saying I'll never wear them, but for everyday wear, I prefer a really subtle, delicate necklace. All right, the next dress is another favorite of mine. This is the Rungali dress and it's called the Porto. Now I had the pleasure of meeting Anjali Camera, who runs Rungali. She is the head designer. She sources all of her silks uh, from India and they are all custom to her. So she has the most beautiful fabrics, the most exquisite silks. These are really high quality dresses. I have two pieces from Rungali in my wardrobe this year. I have this Porto dress and then I have uh, one of their blouses that you'll see later on. So if you go to her website, you see a whole host of gorgeous dresses. These are on par with the same quality of um, the Rebecca Taylor silk dresses that I used to buy. And they have hints of uh, her Indian heritage as well as Western touches to them as well. So they have beautiful designs. Absolutely love this dress. It comes with a slip underneath that matches um, the dress and it's simply gorgeous. The next core item is from Karina Dresses. Now, so many of you have been telling me about Karina Dresses for so long and I discovered them a few years ago after a few of you told me about this company and this company makes the most beautiful wearable dresses for women of all sizes. What I love about this brand is check out the models. Just go to their website and look at the models. They use women of all ages, all shapes, all sizes, 
And it's so encouraging to see real women, not supermodels wearing these dresses. And they have all different cuts and lengths and everything, which is rather long. It's a midi style dress and it is sleeveless. And it's in this beautiful botanical print that I chose. Now, I really like to wear this dress just like this. And it's very stunning, very simple. Uh, it doesn't wrinkle, it's gorgeous. And I also like to wear it with a few cropped pieces. So I'll wear it with a um, ballet crop sweater from Morning Lavender or one of those cropped black tees that I get off of Amazon. And it gives the dress so many different looks. So I love this dress. I really like Karina dresses. By the way, for almost everything I'm featuring here, I have procured a discount code for you. So I'll leave all of those down below. With the Karina's dresses, I am wearing the Spanish Sandal Company's black slide. Okay, so I was wearing the Sam Edelman GG sandal for years and I'm finally tired of it. <laughs> I'm just tired of seeing the same sandal. So I branched out this year and I have a few different sandals. I am gonna show you a few pieces from the Spanish Sandal Co Company and they are made in Spain. They're so high quality. I know my shoes because we used to be in the shoe industry. So I know a good high quality shoe when I see one. The black slides are a classic and they look really beautiful with this dress in particular. All right, let's look at the core item number four. This is the Marion dress by Rachel Pally. Now I found this dress on my own and it is something I have been looking for for so long. You know when you see a garment and you have been envisioning something like this in your mind? I have wanted a neutral dress in this beige tone um, because I love this neutral beige. I love dressing it up and I love the silhouette of the dress. So it's a bit more of not necessarily an umpire waist, but it is um, it cuts off just below the chest and I love the big blouse on sleeves and the fact that it's in a jersey fabric like this and it has pockets. I mean, it's perfect. So I really do love this dress and uh, I really look forward to styling it this year. I love neutrals. I like wearing neutrals and styling them. So here I'm wearing them with the Lulu sandals. These were I think $20, I don't know, but I have them in tan and in black. They are so comfortable and I can't recommend them enough. So I have the Lulu sandals there. I'm also wearing the Sky Cosette Freshwater Pearl Earrings and the Lore Pearl Bracelet. That pearl bracelet is one of my favorite pieces um, from spring, summer. It's beautiful, it's so um, chunky and gorgeous. Core item number five will be familiar to you. It is the Sky Reset Dress, and I've had this for a few seasons now. And it's that beautiful French blue color. I really love this dress and um, it just looks so presentable. Like I said, Sky's clothes are very high quality, so this still looks fantastic. Okay, the next two core items are the Mott and Bow Mom Jean. I have a new pair that actually fit me now. I had to get a new size. And this is in the shade Henry. So this is the, the Henry shade in the lighter denim, because I know some of you were asking me about that. I'm also wearing the Lily Silk blouse that I have been wearing all year. You know, I just decided to put it in again for spring, summer. It's perfect for spring, summer. And I decided to replace the loft blouse that I was going to put in with continuing to wear the Lily Silk one because um, the other one is just too drapey and big on me. So this Lily Silk one is more fitted at the waist and I do think that it is more flattering. So I'm wearing that along with the Spanish Sandal Company Tan Nubuck sandals. These are the other ones. I really like these because they do have a peep toe, although you can't really see your toes, and a little ankle strap. They're just a bit more substantial. So this is a beautiful color, and I love a neutral shoe like this because I feel like it elongates your leg, so it's beautiful. All right, let's look at the next outfit combination. This core item is a blouse by Rungali. It is the Louise blouse, and I chose it in this tan, uh, animal print and it's beautiful. It also comes in a very vibrant uh, orchidy color, but I thought that this tan would mesh well with all of the other elements of my wardrobe. So this is a beautiful silk blouse, very flowy and I feel nice and cool in it. Let's talk about the trousers. You know how much I love those loft fluid ankle pants I had from a few seasons ago. Well, they don't make those anymore and I have been looking for something similar. I looked high and low and I finally found them on Lulu's and they were pretty affordable too. So I have this 
um, black pant from Lulu's. It's a little cropped, it has a little tie, and they're stretchy, they're so comfortable. People will be amazed to feel how comfortable these feel. It, it feels like you're walking in some nice silky pajama pants. But I like how they look dressy. So I'm wearing that here with the Rungali blouse and then the Spanish Sandal Company slides. Okay, I have two more pieces in my core items. And of course they are jumpsuits because I adore jumpsuits. I love jumpsuits and I have some great ones this season. So both of these I found on my own. The first one is this denim jumpsuit from Paige. Paige is known for their jeans and I went to their site and I found this denim jumpsuit. It reminds me of Charlie's Angels. It is so retro and fabulous. It is really low cut. So when I first bought it, I thought, what? I cannot wear this. Uh, how am I gonna make this work? But I find that if I wear a half camisole underneath that, it's just fine. So just know that if you do purchase this, it's extremely low cut. I don't know what they were thinking. They should have uh, raised it a little bit and it would be much easier to wear. But I have made it work with a half camisole. So I really adore this jumpsuit from Paige. And then the next look I have is from Outer Known. Now, I saw this initially on Nikki Philippi's channel and she had this jumpsuit last year. I saw it in one of her videos, absolutely adored it. I went into her description box and found the link to it. And then they were out of it for several months. <laughs> so I put myself on the notification list and then they emailed me when they were here and then I immediately bought it because I knew that I would love this jumpsuit and that it would be perfect for my really casual days. So. I know that a lot of you think I look like a garage mechanic when I wear this. So I don't, I don't know what to say to that other than I know you're right. <laughs> I do kind of look like a garage mechanic, okay? But I don't mind. I think there's something very stylish and chic about this jumpsuit and it's all about how you style it. I feel so happy in this jumpsuit. I already wore it to the park one day with the kids and I, I love it. I can move in it. I love this jumpsuit. So that is from Outer Known. And then my piece for my extras, and as you know, I am now building up my extras. I went through a very long phase where I was in maternity, losing weight, maternity, losing weight, that I didn't really build up my extras. I only had a few things in them. But now I'm trying to build up a comprehensive extras. Not anything too big, you know, but something to wear to each particular occasion. And I didn't have a very special day outfit for my extras. Everything I really have is for evening wear. So this dress by Sky, as we've already discussed, is perfect for an afternoon tea or a daytime baby shower or a graduation or a daytime production, something like that. Um, I love this cream dress. And like I said, it reminds me of Princess Diana. Let's look at a few of the other extras here. We have the Mercy. Uh, slub t-shirt. This is a take on the Breton stripe tee. I have one from Bowdoin as well that's more fitted. I'm sure you've seen that in some of my videos. But I have this one from Mercy. You know, I love Mercy. They're the ones who do the wraps. So I have this in um, navy and white stripe and red and white stripe, and I adore it. It's really oversized. Would look good on everybody. Let's look at some of the casual sneakers. There are the Oliver Cabell white leather sneakers, very high quality. And also these are from Nothing New. These are sneakers that are made from recycled materials and Nothing New is a very eco-friendly brand. It's a vegan shoe, so there's something for everybody here. But I love Nothing New. They're the same people who do the Thursday Boot Company. So if you do the math, yes, I have 11 core items and then I have a few things that I've added to my extras. Remember the 10 item wardrobe is not restrictive and you should feel free to delight in that and just use that number loosely. So yes, I have 11 core items this year. Some years I have nine, some years I have 12. It doesn't really matter. As long as you love what's in your wardrobe and it all fits and works together, you can really get excited about this. So I plan to have all these pieces for spring and summer. I might make a few adjustments uh, for the summertime as it gets really hot, but this is a really high quality wardrobe that I love. It fits my true style and I can't wait to wear all of these pieces. I would love to know how your 10 item capsule wardrobe is coming along. How would you describe your wardrobe this season? Season for spring, summer, or for our Southern Hemisphere friends for fall, winter. Before we close, Skillshare did bring us today's video. I would like to thank my sponsors so much. I have a team of people working for me now here with The Daily Connoisseur, and my sponsors truly help to get these videos to you. So I hope that you love them just as much as I do. 
So Skillshare is bringing us today's video and you know Skillshare is an online learning community. I love Skillshare because I love to expand my mind and expand my learning. They have thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. You can explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. Check out the variety of classes they have on Skillshare, like animation, creative writing, film and video, fine art, graphic design, illustration, just to name a few. So in the past, I've taken all sorts of things to help my YouTube channel. I took a class on how to go viral, which I'm still kind of working on, to be honest with you. <laughs> I also have taken a class called Storytelling Through Film, How to Create Engaging Videos for YouTube, taught by Thomas Deher. And I've even taken class on Instagram poetry. There's a lot of interesting things that I use Skillshare for in order to better my channel and my craft. But the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click on the link below will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium. So thank you to Skillshare for bringing us the 10 item capsule wardrobe talk through. Thank you so much for joining me here today on The Daily Connoisseur. Keep calm and remain classy, and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone! Thank you.